Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. I'm just gonna chuck out a little video today because I've got a little bit of time, not a lot, and I've got a little haul for you. Well, for you, it's for me, really. If you enjoy watching hauls, then it's for you too. I did a tiny little bit of damage since my last video, which was also a haul. That video I said I'm not making, doing any more um, expenditures, not buying anything else, and I really meant that. It's gotta be a limit, hasn't there? But I got myself a few things. I'm gonna run through these as fast as I can. I've got no notes prepared, so I'm just gonna tell you what they are, how they smell to me, why I enjoy them, etc, etc. Lots of loud bangs in the background because obviously today is November the 5th. Well, actually, no, it's not. It's November the 6th. Not a fan of fireworks, but I'm a fan of animals. Fireworks and animals generally don't go together. Most of the time, they are absolutely terrified and that's just not acceptable. So I, I'm just not a fan of the whole thing. I'd like to see lots of pretty colours in my perfume cabinet. I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to show you what I've purchased. First one actually is a little backup bottle. Um, it's actually a backup bottle of one I showed in my last haul video. So yes, that was very quick to get a backup, but it was a little 15ml and it was the Fragrance du Bois Oud Rose Intense. I'm sorry for the really ugly fingernails. I really enjoy reaching for this one. It's, it's a very easy reach, despite the fact that it's quite bougie very expensive for what it is it's too easy it's a it's i think of it as my spicy yellow rose although it's not particularly rose centric it's, it's more sort of spicy fresh it has a i say yellow because there's a there's something spicy and woody and bright at the same time so i think of it as what how i think of a yellow rose smelling but it has a freshness that i would you would expect to see or smell in a sort of shower gel but not as cheap as that it's like an expensive shower gel that is classy, woody, spicy, and like I say, easy, an easy reach. Um, really enjoying that one. So I managed to find the same seller that sold me this on eBay, I've still got a few more. So I got exactly the same thing for a very good price. So I'm very happy that I managed to get a backup, whoops, of Oud Rose Intense from Fragrance Dubois. So that's fantastic. This next one I was so excited to get. It was just after the little bit of stress at the end of October. Normally when I blind buy about a perfume, there's that fear, there's that anxiety, there's that, oh my God, what if I don't like it? How hard is it going to be to exchange? What am I going to do? And I'm going to have to sell it, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's exciting and it's scary. Well, this one, I just threw away all anxiousness and fear and just was so excited to get it because it was at the end of a stressful working week and I felt like I earned something nice and the excitement was part of it, not knowing was part of that excitement and, and that wonder. It's part of the Armani Privé line and when I first bought Blue Lazuli, it kind of woke me up to wondering what the rest of the line was like. And this one always caught my eye. It's got a beautiful purple lid and apparently it's all about the violet. Went onto eBay, good old eBay, found a seller, great price, went for it. So the fragrance I'm yammering on about is Cure Amethyst. Just fancied this one. I thought this was nice for now for the, for the autumn and winter. A leather and violet fragrance. I love leather. I love violet. It all depends on how it's done. I do love my violet dark or edgy. And this one from reviews on Fragrantica always sounded positive. Um, not particularly challenging, quite safe in that it's a soft, well-rounded, warm sort of scent. And partly, I'm not going to lie, I just fancied this bottle. I've always wanted this bottle. I love the purple stone cap. Obviously still in keeping with the rest of the Armani Privé line but with the black bottle and the purple amethyst style stone. Just think it's absolutely stunning. So it was a real treat just to blind buy something like this. Oh my God, those fireworks though. What is the appeal? It is just noise. I was so excited to get this fragrance. I didn't even care how it was gonna smell. The opening I'm not a huge fan of. I think it's bergamot. There's something bright. When I first spray this, we first get this hit of, I think it's bergamot. It's clashing very slightly with the leather definitely get the leather straight away it's a very soft slightly aromatic leather so there's a slight bit of herbal sharpness at the beginning i would say the birch in here is quite dominant as well even though it is there is you can get a bit of the, the violet um there's a powderiness to the nature of this which which is definitely that violet just that slightly sour aromatic opening which i think is that mix of bergamot leather and the birch that wood note is kind of I don't want to say sharp, there's a sour quality to it. It's like um, it has like a, a sour, bright, shiny, silvery quality to it somehow. Maybe that's just how I perceive it. But it's not my favourite wood. Once you get past the opening, it does soften into something incredibly classy. I think I think it's more woody than anything. The leather is very soft, the violet is very, very subtle, bringing in a bit of powder. There's no sweetness in here. It's a classy, cuddly, gentleman kind of a scent. It has this classy old school woody 
gentlemanly inverted commas vibe about it which i do really like i think the appeal in this scent for me is just this blend it just smells finished it smells complete and it is very very classy i like a dark violet i do like this dark edgy violet it's not as dark as i expected because it's softer it's more um it's more cozy soft but there is that edge from the leather and that birch i'm enjoying it i wore it today and i really enjoyed it so yeah that was my naughty end of october purchase so that is armani Privé's queer amethyst so i had three more arrive just as november arrived and the first two here i bought from latina they had a 15 percent off discount and to get free shipping i ordered an, an extra thing which sounds bizarre because the extra thing was 30 quid and that's more expensive than shipping but i kind of had my eye on it and i wanted to try it and i just i just went for it because i guess that's what we do when we're obsessed with perfume and just stop caring two that i bought from latino one was called lipstick fever by juliet has a gun the other one is autumn vibes by replica i'll get into this one in a minute so this one actually i had a sample of this and i can't remember if i got it from chantelle the lovely chantelle tiffany or sam from the channel sam smells i got a lot of samples from them around about the same time both lovely ladies please head over and check them both out so lipstick fever i first smelled this sample i wasn't a fan i got just a big dose of synthetics and not necessarily ones where it felt like a complete scent. I just got this mishmash of synthetics. Expectations were having this lipstick style scent and it wasn't like that. So I didn't really appreciate for what it is. I didn't give it a good enough wear. Um, I was going through all my samples recently and this one fell out and I thought, oh, I'll just give it another go, why not? And I wore it and I tried to forget about it and not, not overthink it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it because it reminded me of another fragrance that I really love. Gentle Fluidity Gold by Maison Francis Kerjan, which no one else has ever said. That's what it reminded me of. Let's just get into this. Um, I, I quite like the packaging. It's very simple. It's just the usual card, cardboard, you know, sheath, whatever you want to call it. It's got a dense, foamy casing. Open it up and it sits at an angle, which I really like. I just enjoyed opening it. And the bottle is actually really nice. Really, really love this bottle. I'm trying so hard to hide this awful nail varnish so lipstick fever is a leathery synthetic style fragrance with that hint of lipstick i don't get much lipstick in the beginning there's a hint of it as it moves on and gets to the dry down I'll show you the sprayer i have to appreciate the sprayer because it's the best sprayer ever it really is did you see how long that was sprayed for there's a sweet cherry like scent very sweet cherry and it's very much fused with a pencil shavings soft pencil shavings that's kind of going into leather territory and that's how it opens up to me definitely smell the synthetics it's not a natural smelling um leather and cherry that cherry makes it smell kind of red in a way then the scent kind of disappears for about five minutes it, my nose just does not pick up anything and then it settles down and then throughout the wear, I get the gentle wafts. It's not a strong fragrance on me, but I get, oh my God, really? It's through the end of the wear that I get this resemblance to gentle fluidity gold, but not the same. And then the that cherry sort of, that I had at the beginning, it disappeared, but it comes back as a sort of very soft, subtle lipstick. It's a really pleasant, safe, dumb reach, day wear fragrance for autumn wind so i think in the warmer months personally i wouldn't enjoy it because those synthetics would be more prominent i, I don't know i just think it it melds together better in this weather and i just enjoy it it's like i say it's easy it's a dumb reach it's a very pleasant scent I just really really enjoyed this one really pleased i got this and it worked out about i think 68 pounds for 100 mils through notino with a discount so a fantastic value so lipstick fever by juliet has a gun so this next little fragrance, which is my justification for getting free delivery, is the newest release from Maison Margiela, their replica line, and this is called Autumn Vibes. The description is a woody trail and red leaves. I've heard very mixed reviews on this one. I got it despite that, and I had a strong feeling that this would be really up my street for some reason. Um, so I got the little 30 mil because obviously that's far safer and actually these are the most adorable little bottles so adorable when describing autumn vibes i've heard people say muddy damp sludgy unappealing <laughs> the unappealing side of autumn now when i first sprayed this i was 
hits with cumin. Cumin is so strong in here. I don't have all the notes to hand. They're not on the box, but cumin is so strong. And I don't mind cumin, even though it, if it's overdone, it can smell like curry and B.O. It can. I don't mind it if it's done in a way where it's balanced. Something else in here, which is really bugging me. I don't really want to spray it because I don't want to get a headache. I sprayed it in the box. Now what I'm what I'm met with is actually lovely spices. I love the spices in it. It's very spicy, it's, and I actually love spicy fragrances. I really enjoy that opening. But there's something else underfoot, which is I don't know what it is. I wouldn't say you're treading on leaves. It's like you're treading on twigs and moss and wooded things. Something spicy, something aromatic, perhaps. But there's like something sludgy and almost well it's chemically sludgy around everything surrounding chemical aroma that reminds me of toilet sprays whatever that is that's making me feel a little bit nauseary if i'm honest but i'm not going to be keeping this i can't wear this it's a shame there's a hint of something resinous and warm and even slightly sweet which could be amber i'm not sure i wish that was emphasized far more with all the spices because it'd be lovely but there is just this underhand, underfoot, sludgy greenness. Maybe you're treading on slugs or something. I don't know. I don't know. That sounds gross. But there is that aspect to it. So I think if you're sensitive to that, you won't enjoy it. But definitely one worth trying out if you love your spices. Because I think the spices are done really nicely in this. So that is Autumn Vibes by Amazon Margiela Replica. So in my last haul, I featured my first ever diptyque fragrance, which is called Kyoto. When I got Kyoto direct from the company, they sent me two samples, um, both very pleasant samples. One of them particularly that I instantly enjoyed. I liked it straight away. And that one was called Omohili. This one I instantly enjoyed. I liked it because it was like a salty, aromatic floral. It had a little bit of an old school vibe about it. But it did make me think it was something nice for summer. My Zumba classes have just started up again this month. I've not been to one for at least two years. During that first sort of sweaty, satisfying, but rather hard session at Zumba, I just thought of this fragrance. I thought of something that I wanted to wear that would be really satisfying, refreshing, zingy, um, clean, and just pleasant. So of course, what did I do next? Go to eBay. It was a brand new sealed with the you know the plastic on first brand new bottle on ebay just waiting for me absolutely beautiful um, imagery and actually that represents i think the notes because it does have ylang ylang and it has this sagey green bright sagey green paneling and packaging and what was actually quite nice was discovering that the bottle also has the same matching paneling and what i love about that is it really gives you an idea and feel for the scent how bright and zingy and lovely and fresh that green is best way i could describe omoheli is by saying that it's very very similar to wood sage and sea salt by joe malone this is how i always expected wood sage and sea salt to smell it's very similar but it is definitely more salty and it has a much more mild woody nature of green salty but very um, fresh and calming with the florals. Kind of reminds me of something old school, like a hand cream or some sort of lotion my mum perhaps would wear that I would associate with the kitchen more because there is a herbaceous nature about it, but very mild, clean, like sagey. It's something sage smelling for sure. But overall, it's just a very beautifully balanced, almost watery in nature, fresh, aromatic, zingy fragrance. I almost get like a, a gingery hit at the beginning um, but it's mostly this lovely salty mild salty refreshing vase of herbs and flowers yeah I mean it's calming somehow it's very clean it's very classy and it has a sort of mumsy <laughs> feel about it a little zingy spring in its step as well and I really love this scent I haven't heard many people talk about this one from Diptyque I think it is one of their older offerings I like anything I've got which is another great thing but definitely reminiscent of wood sage and sea salt so that is O Moheli 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 Mohilai from Diptyque and that is the last of today's haul. Let me know if you tried any of these and what you think of them. What is your favourite? Any thoughts? Especially autumn vibes. Thanks so much for watching as always guys. Take care. Over and out.